Good morning. Welcome to Springhouse Farm. Except for we're not at Springhouse Farm, we are in Cincinnati. And this is our house that we live in currently until we can get down to Georgia permanently. So today I'm going to be taking on a big project, which I've always wanted to do. And that's painting this pretty lady, our bad boy. So as you can see, uh, it's pretty dark and red brick. Let me kind of turn you around and show you the difference, the reason why I want to paint it. So the contrast of the darker blue and the brick, I just don't care for. So I think it would brighten up the room quite a bit. This is a workable fireplace. However, we rarely use it because we do have a cast iron stove in the basement and we pretty much use that in the winter. So I'm gonna start off painting the brick portion. And a lot of the videos that I've seen have kind of said to obviously do the grout pieces first. So I'm gonna do those in a little bit of a heavier white. Um, and then the brick part, 70% paint, 30% water. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm still not 100% sure, there's Memo, there's our dog our dog about the stone part down here. Um, I'm probably going to leave it for now. I think after the fireplace is painted, then I'm going to decide whether or not I want to paint that stone. So I'm going to take you on my journey. Hopefully I do it right. fireplace first. Well, I've heard on a lot of different videos, 70-30, 50-50, just guess, paint versus water. So I'm gonna try the 70-30 first. I'm gonna go with that and see how that looks. So my plan is to get through all the grout. Once I get through all the grout, I'll go over with a paintbrush. I would like to see some exposed brick, so I'll paint lightly versus heavy because I could always go back over. Sometimes you can't take the paint off. We're gonna give it a whirl. So just to start off, I'm realizing that my paint is not thick enough for the grout. It's just soaking in and it's a little bit wet. So I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. One thing I did notice is you definitely need drop cloth, especially when there's water uh, in the paint because it is a little bit soupy. So definitely have some kind of drop cloth. Um, I almost forgot that I had this side. Oops. So this is going through all the grout in the front. Um, I like it so far. It's it's a, it's decent enough. Um, 
thickness. I don't want it so thick that that stands out. So um, I'll come back when I get that section done. And I still have this over here. So I won't bore you with all of that. Well, I have all of the grout done. Let me give you a show. So I think I have decided to use a Johnny Roller, which are these smaller rollers, um, because I think it would be better to use these versus a brush. It's more like a smaller, you know, area. So I'm gonna give this a try and we'll see how it goes. I've gotten one section done and I really like it. So one thing that you really need to pay attention to, most of the um, videos that I have seen, they had a um, had more of a flat brick and I do not have a flat brick. It's very porous and very um, rigid. So if you can kind of see all of the pores in here and it's not um, flat so it's not a flat brick so that's probably been the most difficult part see how all of the little nooks and crannies are in there so trying to get I'm, I'm glad I used the Johnny roller to be honest with you because I had to go back over I'm probably still gonna have to um, in some of the places where I did the grout I'm gonna have to go back over and kind of fill in some of the places that I'm noticing are a little bit too um, exposed so but uh, we'll see 